All right, here's the latest uh, little project here. This is a classic ICOM IC765 transceiver. All 38 pounds of it. Quite a large box here. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> friend picked it up at a ham fest for a uh, pretty reasonable price. And it didn't transmit or receive. Other, other than that, it worked fine. Uh, so I found the problem, shorted tantalum cap and an open choke, got uh, the power restored and uh, transmitter received. Then it had a little issue with uh, uh, buzz in the audio coming out of the speaker when you modulate on transmit. And I replaced a couple of caps and took care of that. So working very well. All functions work great. And uh, we want to see if we can get a, uh, a contact or two on this thing tonight and uh, let you see how it sounds. So, anyway, stand by. Okay, Mark. Yep. Thanks for the report. Let me. Uh, I'm making a short little video here. Bob, go ahead and make the transmission. Okay, I'll, yeah, that last transmission in this one, I went up 20 hertz, so I'm at uh, 3742.02. That sounds exactly like you. Yep. Yeah, okay, well, that's the best I can do. Um, that's the limitations of my test equipment. That reference oscillator needs to be adjusted right at 60 megahertz, and I got as close as I could with the equipment I have, so I don't know, that's the best I can do. Go ahead, Bob. That's a 20 dB of attenuation. Okay. Uh, you know, That's the IC765, really cool transceiver from the early 90s, top of the line at the time, and uh, should be good to go here for a long time. So, Keep tinkering everybody, see y'all later.